I'm going to talk about a scam that is deceptively devious. Now this scam involves Dino and some sort of fake verification system. Now you might see a message on a server like this. Now this is something I replicated, so it's not exactly the same, but it should be pretty close enough for you to make the mental connection that whatever you're looking at is a scam. It'll be this message from Dino. And if I click on Dino, it is the real Dino bot. That's crazy. Look, Dino, it's verified. If I click on view profile, mutual servers, it's on every single server on planet Earth. That's crazy. So this is legitimately Dino. However, this message is actually not configured by Dino. I made this myself just by going through the Dino dashboard. I was able to type up, oh, please verify and have a link on it. Now, if I click on this link, please verify, this link's going to take me to dinotool.app. Now, the real Dino domain is dino.gg. If you see something that pops up from Dino saying, oh, it's dino.xyz or dinobot.com or something weird like that, or maybe Dino misspelled, that is not the Dino website. You're going on some fishy website, brother. So anyways, I'm going to pretend that I just don't have a brain. I'm going to click on yep. And it takes me to this website, Discord Verification. To gain access to this Discord server, drag the drag me to your bookmark bar. Once there, proceed to the Discord server, which you want to verify in, and click on the verify function while on it. Make sure you are using Discord browser while doing this. That is a run-on sentence. To enable your bookmark bar, press Control shift b Control shift b Oh look, I have a bookmark bar. And if my brain still doesn't work, there's this fantastic video. Let's see what it does. Oh, I get the verify. I click on it. Oh, I need to click the drag me button into the bookmark bar. They drag the drag me button, then they go to Discord and they click on the drag me button and it says successfully verified. And then Discord just refreshes and kaboom, look, you're verified. But here's the thing though, that's really not what is going on. If I drag that bookmark into my bookmark bar, you might notice that if you hover over it, it says JavaScript and a whole bunch of crap. So now if I went to my Discord app website, wrong uh, wrong tab but if i went on to discord and i'm not logged in because i don't want to actually risk my account because this is you know this will take my discord account at the end of the day the title of the video does say scam but anyways if i was on discord and i clicked on this bookmark what happens is that it actually executes that javascript code however we can look at that code by right clicking on the bookmark clicking edit and you'll see url just control a and copy that bad boy and i'm going to open up notepad plus plus uh, go to a, a new file and paste it in and look at all this beautiful code. That was a joke, by the way. This code is not beautiful for one of two reasons. First off, it's JavaScript, so I have no idea what's happening. But two, it's actually obfuscated. As you can see, a whole bunch of the code stuff has like these weird blocks of like hex which don't make any sense. Good code should be something that you should be able to read and understand. This, I don't know what's going on. However, if I put on my uh, very impressive light prescription glasses, I'll be able to see a couple things that will help me understand what's going on. First off, all this crap at the top is just figuring out how to actually get what the hacker wants. And what the hacker wants is your Discord token. As you can see, tokens listed a couple of times. And once it grabs your token, what it does is it just sends it to, oh look, it sends it to this website right here. So what happens is that this hacker is using this bookmark to run code that will grab your Discord token and it will send it to this URL. Now this is exactly like going to the Discord website and pressing F12 and going to the console and pasting in some random code. Discord thankfully does give you a massive warning saying, pasting anything in here could give attackers access to your Discord account. Basically what this bookmark scam does is just run this code in your console without you knowing. You don't get this massive warning of Discord saying, oh, hold up, don't do this, don't do this, don't mess around. So it's extremely devious for people that don't really understand that this is a way that hackers can gain access to your Discord account. Now, what is a token? If you don't know what a Discord token is, it's basically like the keys to your Discord account. It allows scammers to gain access to your account, they can send messages to other people to spread the scam. And before what could happen is they could buy Nitro on your account, but now Discord is being a little bit more robust with their systems. And I believe to buy Nitro, you need some sort of verification, which is great. Good job, Discord. You actually did something helpful. But it doesn't stop there. What can happen is that these hackers can use your account to join other servers in case they want to like sell server members and earn money from this. Or what can also happen, I'm not too entirely sure about this, so please do correct me if I'm wrong and I will pin your comments. But what might happen is that the hacker might actually authorize some sort of fake giveaway bot or an authnet bot. Now, what an authnet bot does is basically it'll have the permission to join servers for you. And what these scammers will do is they will add this bot to some sort of 
target server, so whatever server they want to add a whole bunch of members to, and they will run a command that will force you to join that server. So it's just really annoying. So, uh, like, why not save yourself and not get scammed so you don't have to deal with doing all this crap. Now, if you do actually click on the bookmark or you have your Discord token stolen, it's extremely easy to fix it. All you need to do is just go to your user settings and change your damn password. It's not that hard. And on top of that, if you do get your Discord token stolen, go through your authorized apps and just deauthorize everything, just so you know 100% for sure that you're not going to be added to random servers that might be really annoying. So yeah, this type of Discord verification is extremely devious. It's actually quite, it's, it's a common type of scam. It's been around for a little bit, but a lot of people don't know of it. And in fact, I didn't really know much about it until recently. So it's always good to keep yourself up to date on the types of scams so you don't get scammed and make sure to tell your friends I Either tell them verbally, share the video. I don't care. Just make sure they know that you shouldn't have to drag a bookmark into Discord and do all this stuff to verify their account. So anyways, make sure to delete this bookmark if you ever did fall for the scam. And that's it, sweetheart. Now, I'm going to go follow this wonderful WikiHow article. Oh, that's not WikiHow. This is an even better one. Anyways, I'm going to go follow some uh, research advice that I, I need to figure out for myself. I love you, sweetheart. Goodbye. Mwah!